I finally decided to text her back. And as I text her back, she sent me another picture of a fucking snap. And guess what it was? Her ass again. So I'm like, does she want to fuck? Or what? So What's up, YouTube, man? I'm back with another video. Well, I'm back with another story. I don't really do story times on my channel, but I decided... Why not switch it up, you know what I'm saying? If you guys haven't watched the last video, make sure you watch that, bro. That video is a banger, bro. I promise you, you will enjoy the video. So make sure you go like that. Make sure you watch it. Don't forget to subscribe button. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like the video, you know what I'm saying? All the typical, basic, normal shit, you know what I'm saying? But anything I say in this video is not beat. It's not clickbait. I forgot who birthday it was. I don't know who birthday it was, but we was going out to main event for somebody's birthday. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm there. I'm having I'm having a good time. I'm chilling. If anybody, if anybody ever been to many event, everybody knows there's a zip line. And there's always a long ass line. So, after I get done having my phone with the laser tag in, the arcade shit like that, you know what I'm saying? That's basically the normal stuff. I go. I decided to go wait in line for the zip line. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was like, why not? You know what I'm saying? I already did everything. I damn near did like literally everything inside that, that entertainment place. But the zip line. So I wait in the zip line. Now, now mind you, now mind you, the person I'm about to talk to literally is an employee at main event. I'm not gonna say no names because it's like, what if what if this video blows up and they watch this? I'm gonna feel like a dumbass. Cause then they gonna report me. But anyway, so I get to ask her questions because you know I got bored. So I was like. Had anybody ever felt this raw? Like anybody ever like, you know what I'm saying? I just being a little dickhead, just asking dumbass questions. So at the time, at the time I'm 15, you know what I'm saying? And this girl, she's she's 26. You know what I'm saying? She have two kids and all and everything. So it's like I'm in my I'm in my head like, do I really want this? Do I really want to be a stepdad right now? You know what I'm saying? So, so I ended up getting her Snapchat and whoop the doop, you know what I'm saying? So I put my phone away as I got her Snapchat. She just gave me it. And for some reason, I remembered this shit. I don't know why. I remembered it after, like, all them hours. You know what I'm saying? So I put my phone in my pocket when we talking and shit. And I'm actually, I'm like, so, where you from? You know what I'm saying? I get where she's from. She's actually from PA. She's not even from, you know what I'm saying, where I'm from, Cleveland. But but she lived in Lorraine, Ohio, which is, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, I think it's like a two-hour drive from where I'm at now. So it's a minute to even go see her. I literally, I literally have to go to May event, which is 30 minutes away from my house just to go see her, which is... I'm about to go see a girl that have that has kids already, two kids, and, and you know what I'm saying. I just it's not gonna work out for me and her. You know what I'm saying. So I'm being a kid. I'm being a dumbass. So that night ends, and it's like I text her. I don't know why. I got, I don't know. I got bored. I text her. I text her on Snapchat. I was like, so what's up? She like who this? I bro. I wish I had the messages, bro. She was like she asked me who I was. I'm like I'm the I'm the I ain't, I don't know what the, I ain't know what I said, but I was like, I'm the dude from main event, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, L M A L, like you know what I'm saying? With laughing emojis. And I'm like, yeah. So what's up? Like, how you been? You know what I'm saying? So she she told me she was like, I, you know what I'm saying? She like, it was cool meeting you and nice talking to you because I like I don't really talk, interact with people like that at work. I literally just do my job, act like a robot. So I'm like, I'm happy I was able to be there for you. You know what I'm saying? Talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So. We get, I don't know what occurred where we get to like literally start sexting. She don't, she don't know how old I am at the time. She think I'm, she think I'm of age. Cause at, at the time, bro, I look grown, 15, bro. I, I look muscular, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the gym, beer coming in, types, all, all, all types of shit. You feel me? So it's like, she, she digging me, she feeling me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. So what's up? I, like, tell me about yourself. She tell me about herself. That's this how I found out she got two kids. You know what I'm saying? She had two kids. You know what I'm saying? She broke up with her baby daddy. She, she lived with her friend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, she she really going through life right now. You know what I'm saying? So I feel bad that we like I, I'm even talking to her because it's like I'm over there playing. Like I know I'm not about to be with her. I know I'm not about to, you know what I'm saying, take her serious. Just for the simple fact she have two kids. She's an adult, I'm a kid, so it's like, what am I really doing here? So <sighs> I wish I had the picture. So out of nowhere, five minutes later, bro, like literally like I don't know, if she's a hoe or a thought or something. Five minutes later of us talking. She sent me a snap. I clicked on a snap. It was a picture of her ass. I'm like, oh. I'm like, ain't no way. I'm 15. I'm thinking I'm the shit. Like, I'm like, I really just got a picture of somebody's mom ass, somebody's baby mom's ass, 
in her ass. I'm like, shit. Shit. So I'm like, I'm, I'm in my head thinking I could like top anybody now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a week go by. Bruh. We talking. We, you know what I'm saying? We on the phone. Like, we on the like, We actually talking. She hear my voice. She actually says I sound like a kid. I'm like, I don't know why. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm 19. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, she, I mean, she's 26. So I don't care if she, I don't think she care if she messes with a 19 year old, but nobody should care because they both, they both grown. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, bro, like, it's like, I'm 15, she's 26. So that's, that's 11 years. That's 11 years. She don't know that, though. I don't know how she didn't know that shit, but that's 11 year gap. So, I'm on the phone with her. I hear a baby start crying. She going mute. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, everything cool? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all good? Like, so she tell me, nigga, her baby daddy was banging on the door. He was banging on the fucking door, bruh. So I'm like, I'm like, wait, shook. Cause I'm like, I don't know who this nigga is. This nigga might be a motherfucking hacker. This nigga might, you know what I'm saying? Get through her phone and try to find where I'm at. And then blow my whole family up. So I'm like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? So I stopped talking to her. I hang up. I was like, let me know when you're free. She called me back. But it wasn't her. It was not her. So I'm like, I say hello. I say hello. He like, the dude, her baby daddy like, bro. He said, bro. And I remember that. Because I ain't gonna lie. That was the scariest moment I had in my life. Because I was 15. I was a kid. He was like, bro. With a deep ass voice. I'm like, yo, who this? I'm like, yo, who this? He like, nigga, what you mean? Nigga, it's her dude. Nigga, who this? I'm like, bro. Nigga, I, nigga, I'm, I'm just talking to her. I'm her friend. Nigga, I ain't, I ain't never. I'm shook. You know what I'm saying? I'm shook on my boots. I'm like, nigga, I ain't even, like, I ain't nothing serious with her. Nigga, I'm just talking to her. And I met her at her job. Then he's like, nigga, stop calling my girl. If I come over here, beat your ass. I'm like, damn, nigga, you don't even know who I am. I, mean, I could be a whole motherfucking cop. I could be anybody. He just called her number back and started dogging me. So I'm like, cool, cool, cool. So I, she called me back. Like actually, this is her calling me back. She talked about she apologized. She's sorry for that. And I'm like, truthfully, bro, it's cool, but I ain't, like, I ain't tripping. Because, like, at the end of the day, they two hours away, nigga. They don't know that I'm in Cleveland. Well, when they watch it, now they know, but, nigga, they don't know I'm in Cleveland. So, I'm like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? So, I get the, I get the, I'm like, I'm like, so, like, who is that? You know what I'm saying? She's like, yeah, that's, that's my dude. I'm like, you got a dude. I'm like, I'm in my head, like, I don't, I don't give a fuck, obviously. But I'm in my head, like, what if I was taking this bitch serious? Like. I feel bad for anybody that took her serious within that time range, like, legitimately. Because it's like, damn. But anyway, bro, so I end up, like, you know what I'm saying, hanging up on her because she said she had to do this shit. So I'm like, it's cool, bro, it's cool. Because I'm not really mad. I'm just like, this is my way, to, this is my door. This is my way to escape. So I'm like, fuck. Should I take it or should I stay a little longer? But, you know, I'm a fucking dumbass. So I didn't take this shit and I stayed a little longer. I kept talking to her until it was cool. I ain't like talking to her at the time because like I didn't know if her nigga was listening or not. So I hung up. I was just texting her. So she texted me. She said she said she's sorry again. Like don't get me wrong, she was a very sweet person. She was nice, but like she just had too much shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So she texted me and said sorry. I was like, I ain't texted her back for like six eight hours. I ain't gonna lie that whole day because I'm like, should I really text her back? So. I, t I finally decided to text her back. And as I t text her back, she sent me another picture of a fucking snap. And guess what it was? Her ass again. So I'm like, does she want to fuck? Or what? So I'm, I'm, I'm in my head. I'm, already, I'm not even about to go for this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's a death mission. Her, her, I already talked to her baby daddy in the, fucking first, in the first week. Or within the second week. But it's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I already, like she... It was so bad, like, she had me on FaceTime with her kids, bro. Like, she had me, like, I'm not, I'm in this bitch, like, I'm not a stepdad. Like, I'm in, I'm, I'm trying to convince myself, like, I'm not a stepdad. Like, I'm, I'm like, damn, am I really a stepdad? Like, what the fuck? I mean, I've been talking to the babies and shit, so I, I find it kind of disrespectful in my, in my place, about I was 15, like, I said, I was the youngest fuck. Three years ago, damn near four. So, it's like, now that I remember this, bro, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but she yeah she had me talking to her kids and shit. She had a she actually had twins. She had a girl and a boy. I forgot their name, but they looked at Asian. I'm not gonna lie, they really look Asian, but she looked a little Asian herself. So it's like, yeah, but man, when I say most scariest experience I had in my entire 15 year, but I I promise you, bro, like I do not want to relive that shit. I would never ever talk to somebody ten times older than me that I have a whole family already because like. 
I put myself in situations I didn't want to be in and I didn't need to be in. So, as I'm, you know what I'm saying, like, as I'm, like, I'm finding my door again, it get, it's harder to find a fucking door because it's like, we already been through so much. We already been through so much our fucking first week talking. Like, how do you been through so, like, it's, like, crazy, bro, so... Like, no, eventually I fall by the door. I, I, I can see, I fall by the door. And by doing that, I just, I ain't a lot. I, 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 I talked to her, I was like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm 15 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told her, I apologize for, like, even lying to you, and even, like, talking to you in the first place, and shit like that. And I ain't gonna lie, she was cool about it. Like, she was like, it's cool, because, like, I already knew this wasn't about to go nowhere. I already knew, I was like, you don't feel weird for sending me pictures though, cause you know I'm a kid. And she like, she like, honestly, no. I'm like, okay. I was left right. I was like, okay. And I was like, and then it was just, I was like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm ever gonna talk to you again after this. And she like, I don't know if I'm ever talk to you again. I'm like, bet. I'm in my head like happy as so I'm like, bet. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, yeah. So, I'm just about to hang up. And then she was like, why? I was like, because like, it's weird now that I told, you, I told you the truth. So it was like, I hit the red button, bruh. I blocked her off everything, bruh. I deleted the messages. I deleted it, like, all our pictures that she had in my phone. Like, <sighs> if, listen, if you're 15, bro, and you want somebody older, bro, it's not the way to go. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Trust me, because it's like they already got their whole life ahead of them. Not even ahead of them. They already started it. Like, they already got shit going on. They got kids. They got baby daddies that want to kill every nigga they talk to. So, it's like, it's not really worth it. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed that story time. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Comment down below what you want to see for the future, bro. I promise you, bro, bangers is on the freaking way, bro. I know I've been in my cave. I know I haven't been uploading like how I should, but I'm back on my shit. Make sure I subscribe. Make sure y'all like it. Be out. Peace.